Hello, this is Billy Core from the Nostalgia Mall, and welcome back to Pack Vember. And in this video, we're going to uh, enjoy the fruits of our labor from the last video and actually use this uh, Packard Bell Force 442 CDT that we recently picked up off eBay. It's all set up. I've got it on a desk right here. Uh, it's now KBM'd with my... Uh, Packard Bell Legend 1540 Supreme, so uh, makes things a little easier. It's a very cramped desk, though, but it works. Uh, just a quick review. The original specs of this, uh, Intel 75, um, which it still has. 850 megabyte hard drive, which we uh, upgraded to a 2 gig CF card um, in the last video. Also upgraded from the original 8 megs of RAM to a to 16 megs. Originally had a double speed CD-ROM drive um, that didn't come with this. Currently has the Samsung drive in it now. And this was manufactured March 10th of 1995, making this a Windows for Workgroups 3.11 computer. All right, I guess we can go ahead and power it up. Still running beautifully, thankfully. Do have a CD in the drive I forgot to take out. Would you not do that? <sighs> Got it in time. <laughs> And the computer again is in really good condition, no yellowing whatsoever. And I've got my CD-ROM driver installed on here. Also got it connected successfully to my network. And also I apologize for the wacky refresh rate that you're seeing. Of course, Windows for work groups takes a little bit of time to connect to the network there. Yeah, yeah this isn't going to do for a video. <laughs> Let me uh, see if I can get this adjusted. Okay, that's a lot better. I turned the uh, refresh rate down on the monitor and on the uh, phone, so... Uh, now we can uh, look at this uh, monitor and not hurt our eyes in the process. <laughs> now what makes this computer a um, little bit more unique than what I usually uh, have with Packard Bells is that this has a different software package. Um, this has the uh, late 1994, early 1995 uh, package on here, which includes such titles as... Uh, 3D Body Adventure, uh, 3D Dinosaur Adventure, Mega Race, good stuff like that. And of course, um, as we'll see right now, Navigator 2.1. Welcome to the main menu of Navigator, the easy way to get to know and use your Packard Bell computer. Explore the functions of Navigator by using the mouse or the tab or arrow keys on your keyboard. Now, I've shown uh, this version of Navigator before on other uh, Packard Bells that I unfortunately no longer own. So this is what would have originally uh, shipped on this uh, Packard Bell. Uh, the later version of Navigator with the uh, familiar house environment didn't come along until later um, in 1995. But this one includes uh, not only the hallway view, which we've seen before on this version, but we also get the electronic study, which is what sets uh, 2.1 apart from 2.0. So we got a little Packard Bell monitor right there. That doesn't look like a Packard Bell keyboard, though. Uh, not sure who those people are right there. But this kind of reminds me uh, oh, just a teeny bit of the later version of Navigator um, with the uh, access to the CD player and fax machine and all that. 
And also on this uh, software pack it is the first appearance of uh, the Packard Bell Virtual Remote Control, which was later um, the Media Controller. I believe that's what it was called on later Packard Bells that I'm more familiar with. And of course we can play uh, MIDI files on here. Gotta find my favorite, there it is. Alrighty, uh, that's the uh, Navigator Study. This was uh, only available in this one version of Navigator. And so we'll head back to 3D Navigator, which um, was on earlier versions as well. Software Room is not really much of a software room. It's more of just a uh, interface with buttons that gives you easy access to uh, games and other uh, fun little... Uh, things such as ski free it's getting to be that time of year folks um snow is coming even down here in north carolina i'm sure hopefully we'll uh, get a little bit of snow this coming winter we all we typically get about one uh, good snowfall uh, a year sometimes a little bit more but usually just one Wow. Ouch. Minus 21. I am so wonderful. All right. And when we get, when the distance gets to 1,985 meters, we will see an old friend of ours. Something that used to scare the living daylights out of me when I was a youngin. getting there all right just a little further and here he comes <laughs> my six-year-old self would have been screaming by now but yeah that's um how you access the software in this version of navigator Workspace um, is just a basic 2D uh, version, as you can see here. Nothing too exciting. Uh, the uh, 3D version didn't come around until uh, Windows 95. Learning Center, this is where all your tutorials and other stuff is. Welcome to Getting Started. A quick tour of the features of your Packard Bell computer. Just press the right arrow key to start. Alright, this is a rudimentary mouse lesson. <laughs> Ooh, a letter from Packard Bell. How nice of them. Dear customer, we are very excited that you chose a Packard Bell computer and would like to welcome you to the Packard Bell family of satisfied owners. Well, I am honored. Your choice is important to us and we want to extend to you our commitment to provide the best product, service, and support in the industry. Your computer comes with the exciting Navigator program. 
This program provides a new way to help organize, teach, and entertain you while using the computer. Packard Bell has pre-installed a wide range of popular programs for business and entertainment. Using a computer was never easier. Oh, no, it wasn't. Begin using your computer by selecting the Register Now button. It's your key to receiving the, best, the very best support available in the computer industry, and we promise we will not sell it to telemarketers. I added that. Have fun with your computer and explore the many exciting areas of Navigator. Thank you, Packard Bell. Oh, I'm sure that was personalized just for me. No doubt about that. And Kid Space, which is really no different from what we've seen before. Hello and welcome to Kid Space. This is the fun place to work and play. Keep your software in the bookcase. Put all your games and stuff on the shelf. And we can access our remote again through here. Again. Pretty much the same kid space we've always seen. I access our uh, Windows paintbrush. And this button will return us to uh, Navigator in all its glory. And for now, we'll say goodbye to Navigator. And head on to uh, more ambitious things. Like the Packard Bell Library, which I, I had never seen before until using this computer. And this gives you access to your um, books that would have come with this computer, like your operating system guides for MS DOS 6.2, Windows for Workgroups 3.11, and the Windows tutorial. Which you click this, it takes you into the uh, standard Windows 3.1 tutorial which I'm not going to do. I've shown it before on this channel. And I, for the rest of the manuals, I do need the uh, Master CD, which I do not have on hand right now, so that's not going to get us very far. And software, we got uh, user's guides for Microsoft Money, the Packard Bell Library, and Microsoft Works. So that's really cool. All right, let's take a look at the, some of the software that came pre-installed on here, um, starting with Mega Race. which is a uh, futuristic uh, racing game designed for MS-DOS. I think we can access it through multimedia applications. You know what, I'm... All right, let's take a look at some of the software that came pre-installed on it, starting with um, this CD that has some knowledge adventure games, speed, space adventure, and undersea adventure. These are some of the games you don't see that often on this software pack. Um, everyone always goes straight to 3D Human Body and the Dinosaur Adventure game. And so let's uh, try C. The undersea Adventure. And this does run in uh, MS-DOS. Introduction by Jacques Cousteau himself. Uh, 90s full motion video.
Are you disturbed yet? Well, I am. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got who do I eat? Who am I? Let's check out the marine animal out. Yeah, that's what I just said, fella. Octopus eyes. Mouth. Mouth. Oh, that's... That's perfectly normal looking. Gills. Click to see the inside of an octopus. Hmm, will this get my video demonetized? Oh good, it's just a... It's just a drawing. Brain. Pinky is nowhere to be found today. Click here to study a lobster. Video is not sponsored by Red Lobster, by the way. Um, interesting music, I must say. Right, let's go back to that main menu. Look to take an ocean tour. Let's see what this odd couples is. Animals in the ocean can make the strangest couples. Yes, so you say. Cloudfish live in anemones for protection. And they don't get stung. So this is basically a living books game, but without the fun. I'm not going to make a Finding Nemo reference. I promise myself that. Some shrimp love to clean a moray eel's teeth. And the moray eel lets them. And probably proceeds to eat them. Pilot fish will go wherever a shark goes just to eat the scraps from a shark's eel. Oh, good for them. I don't care anymore. <sighs> Let's see. Let's do who am I? Am I? Can you guess which animal this is a part of? I don't know. Keep looking. Can you guess which animal this is a part of? Keep looking. Can you guess which animal this is a part of? Uh, can't you just look it up yourself? Keep looking. Can you guess which animal? This is a part of? Well, obviously I can't. Keep looking. Can you guess which animal this is a part of? You're right. I'm a starfish, and that's my arm. Can you guess which animal this is a part of? Uh. You're right. I'm a jellyfish, and that's my tentacle. I didn't know jellyfish sounded like yeah, Peter Lorre. This is a part of? Hmm. You're right! I'm an octopus, and that's my suction cup. Can you guess which animal this is a part of? You're right! I'm a sea anemone, and that's my mouth. You're doing great. Can really? You guess which animal this is a part of? Uh, something that will be haunting my nightmares tonight. Okay, so that's not an answer, apparently. You're right. I'm a porcupine fish, and that's my face. Guess which animal this is a part of? Hmm. Kind of looks like the roads around here. Keep looking. Can you 
Well, that reminds me, later versions of Packer Bell software packs um, had Echo the Dolphin from Sega on it. No, it's not an easy game. for 90s graphics. Right, let's get out of here. Oh yeah, and uh, on the on this Packer Bell software pack, um, when you exit a uh, knowledge adventure game, you get to, you get this lovely little um, interface. And we will go back to Windows. Maybe it'll load. That'd be nice. Oh, good. It's a happy day. It loaded. And here's a game we haven't played um, on this channel in a long time. Gus Goes to the Kooky Carnival. This is my original CD from when I was a kid. You can tell, you can tell this was played a lot. Look at all the scratches. <laughs> it still works though. Search of rant. If you want to rant, go to Twitter. Click here to go to the carnival. Believe it or not, there was actually a uh, Gus cassette tape planned with a song sung by Gus on it, but it was never released. That would have been so cool to have had back in the day. Hmm. Wouldn't his knees lock if he stood in that position that long? You're guaranteed to go ho, ho, ho! Once you stepped inside the sideshow, I just love the sideshow, cause it's so weird. Fax machine. Hey, it's Kid Vid from the Burger King Kids Club. Or receiving batch copies of printed material through the telephone lines by scanning an image and then translating it into digital information. Something which hardly anyone uses anymore. Cyber time is any time. To get to cyber time, all you have to do is believe in yourself 
and try your very best at everything you do. But what if I don't feel like it? Harry Houdini was the most famous magician in the world. He was best known for his escape act. No one could keep this guy locked up. That's so funny. All right, let's uh, get out of Windows and head into DOS and uh, try some DOS games. Okay, it's still in the, in the under C directory. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can pick one out. Well, you know what? Let's give uh, Zargon a try. I haven't played that in a long time. here for the keyboard and yes um, this is pretty much uh, based off of uh, Jill the Jungle and yes this does have really cool sound effects <laughs> the music's a little bit loud on here though Uh, bonus area that can kill you. Yeah, I'm about to die. And we're out of here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tour of the uh, Packerville Force 442 CDT. Finally able to uh, actually enjoy and play with it since we got it set up in the last video. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving to everyone tomorrow. And until next time, this is Billy Core signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You may also support me on Patreon if you would like. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.